how you uh, went from being a, a hospital administrator to a, an artist and then shifting gears to, to being becoming a, a full-time professional artist and I was wondering uh, if you could could talk a little bit about about how you felt about that and uh, what your approach was for branching off in that new direction I think because you know so many people were artists in the family but you know when I went to school in Canada they told me because I was I was academically inclined and so in Canada if you were, when you got to the sixth grade, you either went into university entrance or you went into the other group that, um, where you, you weren't expected to go to university. And I was in that group and so they told me I would never be an artist. They said people who are artistic, who are uh, academically inclined will not be artists. And so I really never thought about art. In, in fact, I'd walk by my mother when she was weaving. In fact, when I walked into the community college class where she was teaching, she said, what do you do here? I weave, I weave, you know, look, go ahead, go home. Thank goodness, Ron Inouye was the head of the art department. So he said to her, we need her registration. So I really got to stay. <laughs>